you guys, we're at the last step of our heart project. We have our designs glued down. Everything should be nice and flat, and if it's not, you can give it a couple presses. And now we're going to make our heart shape. So we're going to use a stencil, and we're going to use that to mask out our artwork, just like we did with the polar bear if you did that project. So someone may be helping you. We're going to put two pieces of tape on the back of the heart just to help it so it doesn't wiggle around. Okay, And then we press it down nice into the middle of our paper. And again, push it down and make it stick. Then you will get a tray of colors. So you may have more or less choices, but it's going to be like this in an ice cube tray. So we have black, blue, yellow, and red. You are choosing only one color, just one. Otherwise, um, they'll all get mixed up and they'll get really yucky in the tray. So to paint these, we're going to be using sponges that are on little clothespins that you can hold on to. So we're going to dip and dab. So I'm going to lift this up so you can see how much I dip because we don't want too much paint because it'll get out of control. So let's just say I'll do yellow, okay? So it's kind of, sometimes it's kind of hard for this to fit inside there. So you might want to tip, tip it to the side and just do a little dip. So I only have a little bit on there and that's okay. We don't want too much anyways. Once you get some on there, we're actually going to start dabbing on top of the heart and then we're going to jump off of it. So I'm just jumping up and down and that's getting some of my paint onto the heart but also onto my designs. Okay, once the color starts being hard to see, if it's not coming off, then we can tip it. See how I'm tipping? I'm not going straight in because it doesn't fit. I'm tipping it and I'm dipping it in. So I'm just getting a little bit of paint on the side. I'm going to the next spot of my heart and I'm going to go right over the top of it. I'm going to start jumping. Okay, and then I can spread it out and I can jump to the outside a little bit more. Okay, jump around. I am not sliding the brush. I'm only jumping up and down. That way I don't get any paint underneath my heart. Just jumps. Okay. That tip. Tip and dip. Easy to remember. Tip your brush and then dip it in and jump. It's almost good that it doesn't fit. That way we don't get too much paint on our brush at once. And I keep calling it a brush even though it's a sponge. Tip and dip. Start on top of the heart. And jump. You want to make sure we get all edges of our heart. And it's up to you if you want to fill up all of the outside with your paint or if you want to leave your edges and your corners white. That is your choice. You can decide how far you want your paint to go. We have our messy paper underneath to protect, so it's okay. Okay. So I think I like it just like that. I made sure I got all my edges of my heart, and I filled up, and I left a little bit of my corners white. Okay, so then you can put your brush down once you finish that, and then you may need a grown-up because we don't want to get our fingers too, too messy, and we don't want to push any of the paint underneath. So what I do is I carefully kind of lift the corner, and I peel it back. Okay. We want to do this carefully because we don't want to peel any of our artwork off, and there you will have a heart shape that shows your artwork. So that was a really fun thing to do. So you can pick your colors and I hope you enjoy this project. And if you are watching this video, that means you have been very, very good and we're letting you do an extra special step. So that extra special step means you get to do one more color. So if you are doing that, um, you'll have a grown up. We're gonna try and put this stencil right back over where it was last time. It may not be perfect, but we're gonna try and get it as close as we can to cover up the same white spot we had covered up last time. But the only thing different is we're gonna switch colors so you're gonna get a different brush. So you might be trading brushes with a neighbor. If your neighbor had red and now you want red, you can trade them, um, but that is your choice. So you're either getting a new brush or trading depending on what we need. Then you can pick one more color from your bucket. I think I'll choose red this time. So again, we tip and dip. Okay. Sometimes you might need to hold your finger there. I hold it in the middle so I don't get it messy. And start our jumping. We're going to do that one more time. And this time, we can be, we don't have to get as much on or be as careful 
about hitting every edge because we already have our heart shape. So if it doesn't hit every edge perfect, it's okay because we already have one color that shows our heart outline. Tip and dip. So I might on purpose make one side have more red and one side have less red. But I'm still going to jump, jump, jump. I even jump when I think I have enough. I keep jumping just to spread out a little more paint. Okay, so now I have two colors. So now I'm going to peel that off and see how that looks. And very careful. Oh man, it's so cool. All right. And friends, if you are watching this video, it means you've been extra, extra good. And we have time to do one more round. So it means, again, you're picking one last color. You need to trade because you don't want to dip a red brush into a blue paint. So you need to make sure you either have a clean brush or a brush that's going to match the color that you want to use now. So I'm going to go into blue now. And this time I'm not going to do a lot at all. I'm going to do really, really just a very little bit because I don't want my colors to all turn black. So again, I'm going to dip, tip and dip a little bit. And I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to jump around even less. Not too much. Okay. Let's see how this one looks. So cool. Three fun colors.